Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Serial Experiments Rain episode number 6. Alright, okay, uh, the previous week I missed my upload because I was a little bit busy and I really did not have much time to record and upload. And that's why like, you know, like I missed the previous upload. So, but I'm going to continue, you know, from this uh, week uh, onwards. And today's episode number 6, we're going to uh, like, you know, I'm going to react to episode number six of Serial Experiments Lane. All right, uh, the previous episode, that was the episode number five, more weird stuff happened. And now I can kind of understand a few bits and pieces of things that are happening. Number one, the, the thing that's, I think that's mainly happening is the, like the previous episode, episode five really showed us how the body and the mm, mind are kind of separate. In a way like we saw a lot of instances for example uh, which shows us that uh, like you know uh, Lane's sister uh, first of all Lane's sister gets completely I don't know like separated from her body most probably because she you know she feels as if she is she goes back to his house and suddenly sees there's like another person living at her house uh, who looks just like her but lacks the basic emotions she, she's like a robot the, the person who's living in her house at her place now now as soon as she gets shocked and lane comes in lane's lane looks at the door where the sister is supposed to be but there's like a weird silhouette there so i'm guessing like the body and the minds are kind of separating some things are happening there are also like you know hints of um like you know uh can i say like little hints which uh, tell us that this is somehow like you know interrelated with the wired because there's a lot of things like you know they, they said something like uh, uh i think the someone's uh, like you know in, in the in the previous episode there was this whole section where they said something about like death is like uh like you know an, another concept where like you know it's just the death of the body but your you know mind exists and like you know it's like in in the wired there's like a concept of god the deuce all these kind of things like it's getting kind of complicated at the same time so let's see let's see if this episode answers some questions or brings some more questions in so without further ado let's get started this is serial experiments lane episode number six so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go hmm Yeah, I really <laughs> the opening and you don't seem to understand. It's kind of true, you know. Like I, I still am unable to understand <laughs> what really is happening. Um, it's like, oh, like what can I say? Like I can't understand what's happening, but there's a concept in my head as to what is actually happening. It's kind of hazy, but it's there, and I'm not able to pinpoint it. And I'm guessing it's going to get clearer and clearer as episodes, like, you know, as we see more episodes. So, yeah, and by the end of it, hopefully, I'll be able to understand what is actually happening in this show. <laughs> Boy. Okay. Okay. And it all it starts in this scene. You know, like this the weird noise and then the, the traffic lights this scene the car hmm. 
Hmm. Kids. Kids. What? Okay. Hmm. Who's this? Is it the dad? What's he doing? Um, hello? This is Lane's room, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so... He seems really concerned, I think at least. Whoa, what's happening? What the hell is it? Water? Damn, Lane became a, like, <laughs> computer genius. Like, she was bad at technology. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> the dad's like, what the hell? Oh, boy. Yeah, this lane is different. Something has definitely happened to her. What is she doing? Like hacking something? Verify the register. Um, who is she talking to? Okay. Oh, the knights. Okay. All right, that's okay. Hmm. What? What? What is he doing? Trying to unleash the spirit bomb or something? What the? Hmm. Okay. Connect. Okay. Old self. Hmm. Well, she's not alone in a sense. Yeah, there you go. The Nikes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> hmm. Um. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Boy. Okay, lens there, okay. Thirty minute all you can eat ice cream? Hmm. 
What? Oh, yeah, the kid. What the? Oh, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Everyone's... What are they? Um... What? Wait, everyone can see it. What the hell is happening? Like, they're like worshiping her as a god or something? What the? Oh, there's no more there. Well, that was weird. <laughs> yeah. The mom is always like... Oh yeah, the sister. Okay, I, one thing I realized. The sister is kind of like the mom now, you know, like so stoic. So did the same thing happen to the mom? Like, look at her. And the mom is also kind of... Okay. Okay, so she knows what's the reason for that happening. You know the cause. Yeah, the, the lipstick as well. They can sim. <laughs> oh boy. Huh, what? Oh yeah, the phantom arm. Or, or maybe no, that's not it. Who? Who the? Child killer science, what? Who the hell is this? Private hospital world. But in, in the wire. A little. Okay, the Cheshire cat. Kids, okay. Yeah, the Shy Cat, he said something about uh, Lane being a hero or something. Hudson. Professor 
Professor Hodgson. Hmm. Okay, so I'm guessing this is inside the wire. Like, obviously, otherwise, I don't. Telemetry data. Oh. Kensington experiment. Okay, so parapsychological. Oh. Huh. It's not. Oh, it's not an ES. Okay. This is the side, okay. Beyond the system what outer is GID system okay oh did it blow up or something Okay. Oh my god, so that's why. Oh. Yeah, okay. Good manifest. Oh boy, without outer receptors. Okay, wow. Yeah. Oh. 
You're a blessed child. Okay. Oh no, he, yeah, he's going to die. So did, did he just want to tell someone about all of these things? I'm guessing that was what, like, you know, was his last regret or something. And he wasn't able to die. And now that Lane came here and listened to everything, he was able to say everything to her. Yeah, he... His time ran out. Are the knights doing this? Like, thinking about an organization, that's the only organization that comes to your mind. But the knights are like, you know, talking with Lane, so having contact with her. Oh. Oh no, the men in black. I'm not sure what their names are, but I'm calling them that. <laughs> yeah, there they are. Oh, well, they're, they're back again. And that's okay. Now, I wonder who these people actually are. Um... What? <laughs> Her room is flooding. I'm guessing she does not have a proper outlet for the liquid nitrogen or whatever she's using to the coolant. Okay. Is that it? What? Uh, whoa, what? Okay. Did it get overheated? Oh, whoa. They. Who are they? And who the hell are you? Oh, wow. They're... Um, we need some answers. Hello? Wait, so they are not the knights? Okay. Like, I thought they were knights, the knights because when Lane asked them, they did not answer. So, so are they also part of the knights and there are some other knights who are doing this? I don't know. And the knights are also the, the people who were talking to Lane in the wires. So. Okay, it seems like it's trying to make sense now a, a little bit more. Uh, especially after this episode and so basically like the, the, the knights they are doing like you know they're recreating this experiment that the the professor did after like you know a long while ago and we still don't know why they're doing this 
how they are doing this and what are their actual like you know like the purpose for doing all of these things and why is lane involved all of in everything why were they interacting with lane like all of these questions are still there and another big question is what's up with lane why did she change like this suddenly so and also like the, the things that are happening with the mom the sister now another thing i actually realized in this episode i might be wrong you know but the way the mom always reacts kind of bugged me like all this time you know she 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 doesn't show any emotions she's just like kind of weird and now seeing the sister like this i i think most probably the, the same thing that happened with the sister had also happened to the mom previously that's why she's so stoic you know and doesn't show any emotions and all so i might be wrong you know like it might not be that might not be the reason maybe the mom really is kind of like that her personality is like that but there is a chance of her okay is that it yeah there is a chance of her also being in the same position as the sister is now like you know previously like you know previously maybe something happened to her like this as well maybe she also found herself you know her mind her emotions being separated from the body or something and now the body is like living in this house so who knows uh for the dad i don't think that's like, you know the dad is not stoic the dad is that the dad shows emotions i've seen that you know in his face so i can't call the dad like that but i don't know the dad knows something you know? like, i think so at least and uh yeah okay anyways okay this episode as i said this episode answered i think a few questions still very vaguely but we got an answer like you know a few answers at least that's the thing so now one thing that uh i'm still confused about i'm sure we'll get going to get our answers is the whole scene where the like you know the children were like you know uh, holding their hands up and then the clouds suddenly parted and we saw uh, a lane's um what do you call it lane's image in the sky uh, that was weird obviously and i'm not sure what that actually was like one thing i'm kind of confused in this episode is like the, the professor said something about the experiment now like we know that the experiment involved kids and now like you know these the, the people who are doing this now i'm guessing the knights they have a they are being able to do this without the outer output machine what they said like you know they needed before so they're able to do the same experiment without using that so now the thing that i'm kind of confused about here is that what which is the experiment supposed to be the the scene that we saw in this episode where the children were like you know holding up their hands in the sky and then the whole scene happened lane like in the clouds parted lane appeared was that the experiment or is the experiment uh, if you remember in one of the previous episode we saw the game phantoma which uh, a lot of people were playing it or is, is that supposed to be the experiment that's one thing i'm a little bit confused about i'm sure i'm going to get my answers if i wait a few more episodes because i'm sure there'll be more information about the experiment we get and like you know uh, in that process i'm going to know what experiment are they actually talking about which is the experiment supposed to be this one or the previous one so yeah like i'm sure i'm going to get cleared up in the upcoming episodes so hmm, yeah okay and after seeing that lane immediately understood like something is happening she went back to the to her room and logged into the wired and we see another character i'm not sure the cheshire cat you know uh <laughs> like same like alice in wonderland and like you know, like the, the thing that he said like, kind of interesting where he actually says that like oh like everyone will be very surprised that uh, no he said something like i I'm, I'm so proud that i i will be able to help the hero or something what did he say something like that he said no just a sec 
Okay, here it is. I helped Lane. This is gonna like make me a hero with the local users. Oh no. Oh, okay, okay. All right. So this probably means that like uh, Lane is very famous in the wire, and like you know, Lane is supposed to be some kind of a big deal, and. Like as the Cheshire Cat said that it's going to make me a hero, you know, like I'll be able to say that, oh, I helped that lane. Now, here's the thing. Um, I don't know. Uh, it kind of feels as if the uh, lane is kind of like, I don't know, like it makes me feel as if lane is supposed to be some kind of uh, god in the wired or something. I'm not sure, especially the scene where we saw the cloud spotted and Lane's picture appeared. Like, especially that, that makes me really feel, and they're kind of also discussing about the whole God concept in, in the previous episode as well, where like, you know, the dad said something about the deuce and God like having a concrete form in the wire or something like that. So like, you know, like, and here we see like Lane is supposed to be some kind of a big deal over here. So who knows, maybe, I, I don't know, like, you know, maybe Lane is, like even if Lane is not the god over here, maybe he he is in such a position which is quite high up. That's why the Shire Cat says something like, "Oh, I'll be a hero when everyone gets to know that I helped the Lane," you know. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and then we get to meet the Professor Hodgson, where now this. Like, you know, this really clears up the reason why the name of this show is Serial Experiments Lane. Like, I always wondered, like, you know, like, I, I heard about this show for quite a long while. And I always wondered, like, why is the name Serial Experiments Lane? Like, is it some kind of, like, experiments that are happening? Like, you know, something like that. But when this show started and I was watching it, like, you know, up until the previous episode, like, I, I really wasn't able to understand why is the name Serial Experiments Lane? This episode kind of answers my question here. So this guy, uh, Professor Hodgson, he he did um, you know the, the experiments before, and uh, on children. And here he explains the whole psi concept, where psi is not an like you know as per ability or something. It's kind of like uh, ooh, what can I say? Like 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 being a psychic or an esper is kind of a big thing what he's saying is that this is not something at such a huge scale but it's something at lower scale where everyone you know especially kids have this this side thing which is a very i think less amount of energy but just a sec let me check out his explanations again mm. okay where is that all right um here it is. It's nothing as outrageous as ESP. Um, it's just good intuition or enough physical ability to bend a coin. Okay, yeah, here's what he says. Like, so that's, as he said, like, it's nothing as big as, like, as per abilities or something like that, like being a psychic, nothing like that. So it's, it's just a small little thing, like having good intuition or maybe, like, you know, doing some kind of things where, or maybe like you know maybe you're a little bit more luckier than others you know like people have this kind of quirks little small little quirks you know uh, maybe a child is more talented at drawing or something you know uh, maybe a ch child is more talented at singing or uh, these type of i'm guessing like these type of talents or these type of uh, things which are kind of abstract an abstract concept which is within a child you know uh, special uh, talents or abilities you can call them these are like you know the size that they are, she's talking about is not something as big as having a psychic ability but it's still something so he he decides to uh use this, he uses the things that are attached to the heads uh, he calls them outer receptors yeah and he says that that receives the uh, the sigh and okay and that's the, the, the box. The box thing is the kids. So, yeah, he says the Sai might, might, be, might be weak individually, but if he's able to collect the power, yeah. Yeah, he did not know what he was expecting as well. He, he knew that something was going to happen and something big was going to happen. And that's why he started doing it. And, 
Okay, so. Okay, so. Just a sec, where is it? Okay, and I think the whole thing kind of went wrong. Yeah, okay. Lane says here like so so after they collected every all the sites in, in the kids, it gathered a huge amount of energy. And I'm sure something bad happened. Like it, it seemed as if like you know the whole place was blowing up. And the doctor said that after that I smashed the kids so that you no know, one is able to use it anymore and all that stuff. And I'm guessing he got arrested after that. So but after that, uh, even like you know, the concept was still there in like you know in the wired. I think it got it said something about like you know it got yeah it even eventually coalesced, uh, coalesced uh, and like you know uh, gathered together and it got rebuilt and someone found them in the wired and and he also says that it, it even get, got a little bit of uh, extra f additional feature where it can it can you know work without even the outer receptors so i'm guessing uh, the way everything is going on uh, it's it, it really is hinting that the knights found it you know and they are doing stuff like this and that's why lane after that he after she goes back just kind of mad at the knights she was like are you were you like playing with me and stuff like that she said and because as we see like you know, in the previous section where uh, lane was in the wire she was talking with the knights and she was happy she was saying stuff like oh i never had friends and now i can talk with you guys he even like told uh, like you know kind of boasted about it in the uh, uh, in front of his like you know real world friends as well and you know like she said something like oh yeah i have like you know i have people to talk with and all so it kind of felt as if uh, like, you know she was betrayed there you know and uh, yeah okay so then i'm guessing uh professor died and as i said like you know most probably this was something of uh i don't know like i, f I feel as if the professor really regretted his decision in the later on in his part in the later part of his life you know of the things that he did the sins that he committed and that's why like you know he like he, he, as he, he said like you know I'm, I'm waiting for my body to rot in the outside world while i'm kind of uh like you know waiting here in the wired this place is kind of good and um, i'm sure he was waiting for someone to talk to like this to you know say everything and lane came here and he was able to tell everything and i'm guessing that gave her him the peace of mind and he like you know all his reg like you know his what can i say uh his regret kind of not regret but his last wish or something like you know like the, the thing that was actually holding him into this world and he like you know that went away and his time ran out and he you know he died after that so yeah anyways all right so okay as i was saying then lane comes back she kind of gets pissed off at the knights and then the men in black suits come back again now here's a weird thing uh they are always keeping an eye on lane we don't know who they are and when lane comes down and asks them are you the knights they, first of all they don't answer so at the beginning i was like oh they, they really are the knights but then they say that nah like uh, oh then the coolant blows up and he's they say that the uh, is like infected with a virus they did it lane asks who and they are and answers the knight so i'm guessing they are not the knights otherwise this conversation is weird because first of all lane asks them are you the knights they don't answer and then they say that the knights did this to you so if they were the knights they would have said that yeah i don't know like it's kind of <laughs> confusing and we still don't have any answers who these guys are but at least one thing we can understand is the knights is behind the things that are happening i think so at least or at least the knights planted the uh, the virus or the whatever you know in the coolant system to blow that up so 
Yeah. Okay. So, so as I said, like you know, like who knows who, what this guys are even like you know doing here. Like why are they keeping an eye on Lane? They've been doing this for quite a while. So, yeah, it's weird. And we don't know what's going to happen to the sister. She like she's like all like, gone. I don't know. And the f dad is also kind of acting weird as well. Uh, not weird. The dad, in my opinion, the dad is like the most normal person here. Like at the beginning, I thought the dad was weird, but now that I look at him, it 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 seems basically it seems as if he's kind of concerned about Lane. That's just it. Like you know, and he knows something. Something must have happened in his past or something, you know, like, because, uh, yeah, anyways, like, I'm guessing the dad is like the most normal person in this house. And Lane is also kind of, like, you know, yeah, Lane is normal, but the thing that's weird about her nowadays is that his, her personality completely changed. I'm not sure if that's like her own, like, you know, did her personality really change on her own or was it some kind of outside influence or something? You know, like some kind of like the whole sex thing in episode one that the ghost thing that happens. Is it that like, you know, that's influence or is it something else or is it just her growing up? That might be an answer. If, if, if it's just her growing up, her breaking out of her shell, then it's, it's, it's completely normal. But like, I always feel as if like this is something this is happening because of some other reason. You know, like weird stuff happens in this anime. So like always like, you know, you always think about that first. <laughs> like whenever something happens you always think that oh is this because of something else or is it something normal so who knows i'm sure we'll get our answers in the future and uh yeah so <laughs> okay so yeah guys that was it um so yeah this episode answered a few questions and most of the questions not most of the questions but a lot of questions it kind of answered and i few things some of the things kind of got cleared up um still there are um, a lot of questions left which needs answering and i'm guessing they're going to answer it slowly slowly like this like you know every episode is going to answer a few questions and new questions will pop up and at the same time you know it's going to continue like that unless and until i'm guessing the ending episode where everything's going to be get cleared up or something i don't know so yeah let's wait for it so yeah guys thank you guys for watching if you guys enjoyed this uh video press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed be sure to comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to let me know i'll definitely check them out so yeah guys so this was episode number six of seal experiments lane so i'll be seeing you guys next week with another episode of uh seal experiments lane so until then goodbye and have a nice day